Today, we are going to talk about Profiler API in React. Imagine you are a car mechanic. Your job is to fix cars and make them run smoothly. But in order to do that, you need tools to diagnose the problem. Similarly, the Profiler API in React is a tool that helps us diagnose and optimize the performance of our React applications. It works by wrapping a component with the Profiler component and specifying a callback function that will be called every time the wrap component is rendered. The callback function receives performance information and allows you to identify the potential performance bottlenecks in your application. Now, let's take a look at some code. Code with Sloba. First, create a file and name it testcomponent.js. Then, we need to import React at the top of our file. Next, we create a functional component called testcomponent. This component uses useState hook to keep track of a counter state. Apart from that, this component will have a heading that shows the counter value and a button that when clicked increments the counter after 3 seconds. We create Go a function with called handle click that when called will delay the counter by 3 seconds and increment the counter state. Finally, we return the JSX that renders the heading and the button in the component. And export default our component. Now that we have the component, we can now wrap it with the profiler component. Here we are importing the profiler from React that wraps the test component in profiler component and pass the callback function as the onRender property. Now let's create a callback function that will be called every time the component is rendered. It receives several arguments, such as actual duration, base duration, start time, commit time, interactions, and we can log all of that to the console. Now you can check the browser console for the performance data logged by the callback function every time the component is rendered. And here you can see how long it took for component to re-render and also what is the start and end time as well. As you have seen in the example above, it's easy to implement and provides you with detailed information on how your component is performing. Remember that performance optimization is an ongoing process and it's important to regularly monitor your application's performance to ensure that it stays fast and responsive for your users. Well, that's all for this React video. Stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.